talking about how Sicily was trying to show her her butt to, to Solo. That was We're talking about that. Let's talk about how you wanted her out of the GOAT fam because she was trying to be so grown and try to date Solo at 18 year old conversation. For me, um, it was all drama and it's pointless and no one's going to care about it in the future. And uh, honestly, we just need to squash it. It just needs to be squashed. Also, that thing that Brooklyn said about me on the live about Thank Solo, um, that was very, very messed up. That never, never was said, never happened. Um, and what was said about that was made up by people. Yeah. So, um, I'm sick of it. Can you guys please stop making rumors about me? Half of you guys don't know who I am because you didn't give the time to figure out who I am. And just made up assumptions about who she was when she's actually an amazing person. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Hey, Queendom, by the way, I'm sorry. I normally always greet you, but I'm Hi, just I'm really upset right now. 9.30? 9, does that work? Um... I don't like the fact that Delijah's mom tried to come on his live and start yelling at me like she's my age. You're a grown woman. If you got something to say to me, then talk to my mother. Can you? I have to. Go outside. Like, if Delilah, if, if Kay had something to say, she could express her feelings to my mom just like she expressed her feelings to my mom when she was talking about Gavin and Teresa. You can talk, you can sit there and yell on your son's live, but can't be a grown woman and come to my mom when it's time to talk. But you can, but you can sit there and tell her how bad you're feeling because your son left Sugar Factory crying and went to his room and was all upset because Gavin said you can't sit here. Let's tell the truth. Hard eyes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I'm shading people like what? You look you. The thing about these grown women out here is that they act like children. They 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 post on their children's pages like it's like it's uh their child, and you guys like that. I don't know what's up with these. LA moms, but you guys are, are really crazy. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You're really crazy. Well, the people I've met. I know some good LA moms. I know some good LA moms out here, but some of you guys are just a little too crazy. And Teresa and Kay, if you have something to say to a 15-year-old little girl, then maybe you need to talk to my mother instead of talking to me. Or would you like to talk to me? Because my mom comes through me too, and I can go off just as much as she can. Yes, end your live, Elijah. End your live. Come on my live so I can go off. Cause your mom tried to come in a room yelling like like she's gonna like do Teresa. something. Kay and Teresa, you act just alike. I was trying to talk to your child and you're sitting here yelling over the phone. You're trying to promote kindness for all kinds, but you're over here shading people. No, I'm speaking the truth and I'm gonna stand up for my color. Unlike you, Elijah. Getting all, getting, you're getting called. Coco said, Delijah doesn't sound like your name. You don't look like a Delijah. You should be called Darnell. How does that feel? Oh, so your name's not black enough, so they want to call you Darnell because of the color of your skin. What sense do you make? Like, this is really confusing me. This is so confusing. Oh, my God. But since everybody, but since everybody, Teresa, Teresa put on the front line of the GOAT fam when me, Sophie, and Sarah were apart, when she told us, you guys are the faces of the GOAT fam. You guys are the top ones. Now that we're gone, she makes you think that you're the top one because we're saying that people are being racist. How does that look? Since we say there's some racial stuff going on, of course, Teresa puts the black kid in front of the, in front of the world. All of a sudden. But Gavin was just calling you gay. Oh, I think he's on here. What does that have to do with you? Delijah, it doesn't have to. What do you mean, what does it have to do with me? What? 
<laughs> what? Wait, why did I think little baby was just on my life? <laughs> oh my god. But you're black and she put you on the front lines. That's, she didn't change my name. She didn't change my name to, to anything. And the fact that, and the fact that, what, what, what I'm most, um, what, what I'm most upset about is that me, myself, Brooklyn Queen has a Black Lives Matter song trying to breathe. I can show you guys the messages because they're screen recording just in case Gavin tries to go and unsend them. But in the DM, it says, Post, post the goat fam. Can you post the goat fam's merch? Can you post my song and then I'll post something of yours? I sent trying to breathe and never did Teresa or Gavin like, like that I sent it or repost it. Why is that? Why is that? Teresa didn't change my name. Coco changed it. That doesn't matter. You don't feel some type of way that you're a black man and someone needs to change your name from Delijah because they feel it's too white. For a black person to have it, you, you're you okay with someone renaming you to a blacker name as if that's what they say? Because that's what she said. But to me, a name doesn't a name doesn't justify my color of my skin. My name could be Kim. My name could be Brooklyn. My name could be Delijah. My name could be Brittany. My name could be anything that doesn't that doesn't change the fact that I'm black or that I'm white. Is Coco racist? I don't know if Coco's if Coco was racist or not. But I know that they changed his name to Darnell instead of Delijah. What'd you say? No, it's a nickname. And hold on the phone pause. No, it's a nickname and blacker name. What? Okay, anyways, like I said, Delijah. It doesn't really matter. Um, uh, I mean, I guess I'll tell my son as well. Yeah, tell your son, you know. Yeah. But basically, we or I got invited yeah. to a party for my friend um, with my brother and Parker and a few of my other friends. Okay. Um, and when I got there to saddle, I didn't realize or even have any idea that, um, you know, the, my squad was going to be there. I didn't know they were going to be there. So then. Apparently, I guess I walked right past the parents and I didn't say hi, but it was a very blind corner. So I you didn't... saw but... Brooklyn's parents? Or yeah, yeah, like, every, every okay. Parents. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, apparently, I didn't see them because, you know, it was a blind corner and whatnot. Okay. But I eventually ended up saying hi to them, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, but basically, you know, kids being kids, we just, I guess, felt some sort of tension. We didn't say hi to each other, I guess. Tension, okay. Um, okay. And eh. it just, it kind of. All got blown out of proportion. They felt what slighted that you didn't speak to them at first. Yeah. I, I okay. Guess. And then, okay. Whatever. And then, um, so I was invited to go to the with the squad members. Yeah. I was invited to go to the with the squad members. Yeah. And he was going to that party, and okay. um, I didn't stay at Saddle for very long because we just there was a. Oh, like you said, there's a lot of tension, so we just didn't stay that long, and okay. so we were just there, and then we were like, there's a lot going on, like, there's a lot of tension, so we ended up leaving, so I wasn't there for when even Gavin got there, Okay. Good. and okay. so, because I went home. You went home? Yeah. All right. Um. Okay, so there was slight tension there. Yeah. I've heard a rumor, like, through online, and, like, the tea pages, tea on squads, tea time, um, daily tea. Then you're going to talk, then I will talk, then you're going to talk, okay? Okay. Let's talk about how Sicily and Poe were all over you, how you and, that's how you and Lexi felt, that she's all over you, and she's being, she's trying to be, she's trying to be too touchy-touchy. Paparazzi Gamer, what are you on here talking about kindness, question mark, question mark, when you were just begging me for an interview? I'm not going to, I'm not going to stay on this live. And you tried to pay me. You you tried to pay me for an interview. Now you want to play both sides when I was just talking to you off the cameras. You were talking about how stupid Teresa was looking. I'm not even finna. I'm not even finna go through this. I'm not.
Jake, we can finish our conversation. So apparently Gavin said that N-word just... Gavin's white and he can't say that N-word. And yeah. personally, I didn't get called the N-word out of Gavin's mouth, but I know someone who did. And that's very hurtful for someone to call you the N-word and you know where that comes from. The N-word comes from racism back in the day and it's still going on today, unfortunately. Oh no, yeah, I totally agree. I think I'm pretty completely... sure. I'm pretty sure you learned about Martin Luther King in school. Am I right? Oh no, yeah, or not, no. or not. I, listen, listen. I completely agree with you on all that. Okay, so so I don't know why you're trying to sit here like I'm wrong. Like I'm sitting here making act. Like I'm sitting here making false accusations when the paparazzi gamer interviewed me. You tried to come on under the T page like I was wrong 